going for. So we're gonna do um, we're gonna do uh, some uh, sugar, some sanding sugar to get the apple glittery. You know I like glitter. <laughs> Found a little brush. So you just paint the apple and you can also use uh this is glue you can also use like corn syrup that'll do the job as well like edible glue yeah this is edible glue <laughs> oh yeah girl <laughs> <You're my favorite. laughs> oh yeah I, I wouldn't do you like that <laughs> so we're gonna paint our apple and now is that already dipped in chocolate? Yes, I already dipped it in, in red chocolate. Okay. 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 And we're gonna set that to the side. And I already made the uh this is the hat. So you want to make that a couple days in advance. Um once I cut it out with the uh, I think this is a two and three quarter uh square. I mean, it just depends on what size apples you use. And then there, I have bigger, larger squares, uh, cutters, but whatever size apple you use, that, that's what you want to match your, uh, your square up with. And then we're going to paint the, uh, ooh, ooh, that was a lot. Once we, um, once you put your, your glue on, then we're gonna sprinkle it. Sanding sugar. This is kind of messy, but it's pretty. And you wanna shake it over something so you can save it. Don't throw it away. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think I kind of cracked it. On is that fondant? This is fondant, okay. yes. And you want to put Tylos in that fondant. You want everything to be sturdy. So we want to set that aside and move this out the way. And then we want to make our sash. And we're going to do that with um, fondant. So everything that I make here with, uh, with this, I, I use Tylos in the, uh, in the fondant. So this is kind of firm here. I'll put the Tylos in there. How much do you use? Uh, just, just a little at a time. And then it takes about 15 minutes for it to start uh, hardening. When you want, oh shoot, I got that red on my hands. You want to do that. So, I don't need that much. So, I just want to roll this. Shaker got powdered sugar or corn starch in it? It's uh, powdered sugar. Mm -hmm. And then here's your sash cutter. Is that just a letter cover thing for the 
it's a it's a it is a daughter but yeah mm -hmm. oh okay well maybe so i don't know maybe i can use it for that i'm not sure <laughs> this is the only thing i use it for Usually at home, I'm doing it on the table, not on this paper. So I can get a good cut. So we want to cut it so it's even. And then you clean up the little ragged edges. And you want to make them the same size. And then we want to put our little, let's clean this up a little bit. So we put this away. We're going to put our little, um, hold on, let me get the red. This is, I have, I have a little bit of tie loss in here as well. So. This one is not as sturdy. See when you start destroying that, even with the tie loss in it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, like if I use tie loss in it, it, it hardens <coughs> up. And I just take it and just leave it. And it'll go back to its natural state. Just a little bit thinner than I did the white. And then this is the color for the uh, those little lines that you see down there. Mm -hmm. I don't know what are they called. I don't know either. <laughs> little lines. Tassel? Little on the sash. Yeah, like the on the sash. The little the little lines on the sash. Hashtag. <laughs> well, just decoration. <laughs> yeah, so here again, uh, it's not it's not gonna be a uh, it's not gonna go all the way through because I'm on this paper. But anyway, this is what I do is I kind of line this up here with one of the sashes to see or to get a um, even cut for the sash, so that'll fit on the sash. And then we just take these and just cut them. These are so small, man. <laughs> this is real tedious. So we're gonna cut, we're gonna need four of those. Wait a minute, let me sit here because I gotta get eye level here. I can't do this my standing up. I gotta see this. <laughs> so just put a little glue on there. Okay. 
And once you get them on there, if you see any hanging on the side, you can just kind of clean that up with your little paring knife. I'm gonna scrape, not gonna scrape. So, we want to put these two together and make sure that they're even. Not gas, but we charge the diesels. $8. Clean this up here with our, with our paring knife. How far ahead do you think we're looking? Uh, I made those on Sunday and they still look good. Yeah, so what I do when I do stuff like this, I just usually like do all the prep work like one day and then, you know, do the actual, because the prep work is, is what's real tedious. Let's see here. Make sure they're easy. I think you told us before, but what kind of apples do you generally use? Uh, Granny Smith. So now I'm going to set these aside. And we're going to, let me stand back up now. We're going to do our, uh, our numbers, which I already did the numbers because I wanted to do them ahead of time so they would uh, be, um, and here's the number of the letters, the numbers that I used. And if you guys have a, like a smaller um, number set or a letter set, you can put four letters on there instead of two because I've seen these with four letters instead of just the two. You know, it's like 20, 20. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't have a small one, so I just did it like that. Is that the Wilson set for the letters? Based on the color scheme. Yep, yep, that's yep, that's Will. <laughs> yep, so I already made the letters. How do you get those letters out without doing I had there's a little um here. Or you can use a toothpick. And that doesn't damage the letter. Mm -hmm. You see how easy? Oh, okay. Okay, I'll show them to you. Hold on. So, we're going to use black or red? Red. We use red since the, the set, the uh, thing is red here. So, I'm going to put a little glue on here. <laughs> so that'll be her. That's why I put, please somebody take pictures. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so I do, we just want to try to get them as even as possible here. Then we want to take our apple. Kind of get it situated like that. And then we'll place. And here again, I have to sit down so I can see it. I probably missed it, but how did the ink will be sticking to the apple? This stick? This is a, a apple stick. Just stick it down in there. I covered it with uh with 
bling. Yeah, but I mean, it doesn't slip out of the afterlife. Uh-uh. Okay. Okay. You just shove it on in? Uh-huh. Oh. I use a hammer. I got a little small yeah. hammer at home, mm -hmm. and I just whoop. You just yeah. shove that in there. So you wing the stick before or after you? Before. I just drew up a lot of sticks at one time because I use them for a lot of different. And then you just hammer them in so the, the bling is even with the apple. Mm -hmm. right. So you don't cover the tip. Like, here's the sticks that I use. These are the sticks. And I cover it to right. Okay. You see? Okay. Yeah, so this part will go in the apple, and then the bling will be right here. Okay. Isn't the essence actually go like all the way to the bottom? No, yeah. no, you don't want it to go to the bottom. Okay. Yeah. I assumed it did too, and I thought it was. Oh right no, down. because you don't want to put another hole in that bottom. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. you want the apple to stay fresh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So once that's in there, if you take it back out, then, you know. And then you dip it in the chocolate after you have the stick in. Yes. Okay. Yes. So we got it situated. I guess this is the way the apple is going to sit. So we're going to kind of see here. I might have to cut these cut these down just a little bit. So I just okay. Are they even? So once you get them in there, you want to put a little glue. On there. Just kind of push that down in there. Push this one out. This one will come down a little bit. Don't you have trouble with that not sticking with the swirl in there? No, because when you put the, the the hat on there, it's going to stick to the hat. Oh, okay. Yeah. We just want these two parts to stick together. Yeah, and then the hat will, uh, yep. So, I'm going to put that hat on there. And I think I didn't. Yeah, that hole. Let's see that. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Push that down there. Take the little piece off here. Kind of get it how you want it. What's the favorite photos that you ever had to do? Uh, just these. <laughs> I'm talking about in your apple when you're doing your apples in general. Oh, I've done uh, 40. Mm -hmm. So here we're going to use, let's use, uh, you, you guys want to use a black or red? Black. Black. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's do some black. I have carbs, so I'm tired now. <laughs> and she's been sick. So I'll just take a little piece of this uh, black, roll it up in a little sausage here. I'm going to get that right in there. And then this is the uh, nautical mold, uh, real piece with the rope. We're going to use the big rope piece. Also, if you have a... a what you call it? Construder? What's extruder. extruder? I said construder. Extruder. <laughs> you can use the extruder, but I think this is easier. So if it's rope, you can use gold to make like the honor yeah. ropes that people have too. Yeah, and you can paint them with the luster dye. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cut that down here. Let me get the 
We just wrap it around that little hole we just made in there. Just put a little glue on there. Just a little bit. Uh-oh, I broke it. I broke it. I broke it. Huh. I said I like the sugar on that cake and it's better. And yeah. there's your cupcake fan. Huh? Your cupcake fan because there's apples and cinnamon. Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay, so that is your graduation apple. Who wants the apple? <laughs> I 